Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. Uh, we're going to get started today by pulling some Kipper fortune telling cards. Then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread using the Rider Waite Tarot. I just wanted to say thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have um, Sudden Wealth coming out for you first. I mean, that's a card that everybody wants to see. Uh, card number 11. We'll see what else comes out. We have the High Honor card, card number 25. And in the future, we have the Courthouse. Okay. So the messages from the Kipper cards can be a direct message to just a few people. It can apply to the whole reading, but sometimes they can just be messages that um, we talk about in the beginning of the reading, but then the rest of the tarot reading moves in a different direction. It's kind of hard to blend these cards with the tarot cards, I have to say, unlike other Oracle decks that I have. But I do like to use them because they've got unique, unique stories to them. In the past position, we have the Sudden Wealth. This is when things are uh, increasing in our life, um, when suddenly we feel like we have a lucky break. And uh, if we look towards the current moment, it's almost as if you've had some blessings in your past that you want to honor. You want to um, do right by them. Maybe it's children in your life. Maybe it's uh, a job that you have that you really appreciate or um, schooling that you're in. It, it's like remembering the blessing of how these things suddenly came into your life and doing them with honor. Now, in the future with the courthouse card here, it does talk about paperwork or organization or you know having to apply yourself, having to submit things, having to uh, you know take care of business in some area of your life and uh, it can talk about um, if you read the cards all together in one stroke you know sudden wealth coming out of a legal situation um, where you are um, feeling like this is something very much appreciated like you you know uh it's a celebration really but that won't be for everybody not everybody has court case situations going on in their lives <laughs> all right let's see what's going on for the tarot so we have the ten of swords we have the three of swords oof and the fool reversed We have the Ace of Cups in the recent past, and we have the Knight of Wands reversed in the distant past. In the future is Strength, representing you is the Two of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Hierophant reversed in the Fears and Desires position and the Queen of Wands in the Outcome. With the Two of Pentacles reversed underneath the bottom of the deck. I do feel like something is suddenly catching your attention, Pisces. Um, whether it's an incoming message or uh, an update in your situation. And this is bringing up a lot of pain for you, um, anticipation. It's almost as if uh, something's being like dangled in front of you, 
like a carrot, a golden apple or something like that. And it's like you want to believe in it. You want to see this as, as an opportunity. But you, if there's past history with this person or this opportunity, then, you know, there, you might also just kind of see that this could be a situation where you expect the worst. Um, you know, uh, especially if this is like a reconciliation type of vibe reading. But it doesn't have to be. It can just be a message about an update in your situation. Um, with your health, even. Um, if you're going through a health struggle. It's like it's news that it's good news. But it also brings you some fear. Um, and uh, it's a mixed bag of emotions and feelings. So whatever this news or information or communication that comes through in your environment with the page of wands there's a whole brand new beginning that can come from this and that's what's scary that's what's you know triggering for some of us here pisces especially when it comes to love and relationships we have the two of cups reversed and we have the hierophant reversed with the ace of cups the three of swords the knight of wands you know these are all like love and relationship cards um when they're all together in a reading they're all reversed, you know. It's kind of saying there's a lack of belief that something could work out. Um, or just a lot of doubts, even though there might be a lot of uh, love or a lot of desire there. Um, it just kind of seems like maybe you're second-guessing yourself or second-guessing this relationship potential, Pisces. In the future position, it's Strength card and the Queen of Wands is the outcome. So as long as you remain confident in yourself and remain strong and take chances, take risks, you know, uh, make decisions that are right by you, that this incoming news or communication, whether it has to do with love or with your health or something in between, um, it, it, it'll be up to you to see how you handle this, you know, because it could be, um, it, the page of wands is upright, whatever this communication is, it is good, you know, like it, it is positive, even if it comes with inconsistent history, or you have an inconsistent history with this person or with your health, even if it feels like there was a lot of hope. There's also a lot of fear. There's also a lot of pain associated with this. Um, and uh, you know, the higher fit reversed in the fears and desires position is speaking to me about trust, trusting in the higher power, trusting in a relationship potential, trusting in the 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 you know, the organization that's helping you or the people, the support network that's helping you. Um, and uh, ultimately, it's up to you to decide what you want. I think that's the main message of this reading. I think the Queen of Wands and the Strength card are kind of working together to deliver that message. You know? Um, I do feel like someone holds you within high esteem. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is, has a really good reputation as well when it comes to like health recommendations. I know I kind of keep flipping back and forth between health and love, but I do feel both here. We have like four health cards in this reading. We've got one, two, three, four, five love cards. We've got, you know, three or four um, confidence and manifestation potential cards here as well. So there's a couple different themes here. So it's like with whatever you're dealing with, there is a new beginning here that's available to you. Uh, and... You know, are, are you going to expand? Are you going to grow? Pisces is the question. 
Um, it's not really telling you to make any type of decision either way. It's not really giving you an indication of what the future will be, except for that you will make the right decision. You will feel confident in what you're doing. And uh, you know, it's an opportunity for you to see what it is that you truly want, Pisces. So we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Strength card as the card pairing. Like they can talk about health, you know, Ten of Swords is when someone's lying on the ground with all these swords stabbed into them. So I am picking up on here that someone might be getting news about like an upcoming surgery, procedure or treatment or health or health plan that might help them with something. And this brings on fear, this brings on, you know, the need to be courageous um, or to make a big decision either way. It might be risky. Maybe you have to decide to just live with what you have, or maybe you have to decide to go through with whatever it is that they're recommending. So, um, you know, a big decision there uh, to make. Um, but it also can talk about the, the pain and the wounding from the past uh, being triggered in the current moment, because the Ten of Swords is the first card here. And in the future, the Strength card is kind of showing that it's an opportunity for you to rise above those fears, those those pains, those woundings. Especially with the Three of Swords being another card that represents that right next to the Ten. Uh, so we have the Three of Swords reversed and the Two of Cups. This is when we don't trust a relationship because of past because of past history or just, you know, having troubles with trust in general. Um, we have the Three of Swords next to the Fool which is kind of saying that um, there's a lot of, uh, and, and the Ace of Cups being here as well. Both the Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups have like water in the background. There's flowing water in the Ace of Cups. There's rain in the background of the Three of Swords. So it's almost saying like there's like a sadness to this new beginning where you have to kind of release a lot of emotions and feelings in order to make it work. So open up the floodgates, Pisces. Allow yourself to feel those feelings, right? And uh, with the Fool reverse and the Page of Wands in the center of the reading, this is where the message is all tied together because we have the good news, the information, the invitation, the offer, the inspiration with the Page of Wands here. And we have the Fool reverse, which indicates that if you were to take a risk, it could pay off could be a brand new adventure especially with the strength card reinforced in the in the future uh, we have the ace of cups next to the fool so this is definitely has a love component to it as well as health because the ace of cups is the vessel you know the body um, as well as a pregnancy card um, so we've we've got uh, the ace of cups and the hierophant reverse which talks about usually people would read that as love um, an offer of love, an opportunity in love, but with the Hierophant, you don't know if it's going to lead to hot long-term commitment. Um, it may come with a lot of reservations. You don't know what other people are going to think about it. It might be unconventional. Uh, as the Hierophant being reversed is an unconventional energy. Um, and the Ace of Cups is next to the Knight of Wands reverse. So this could be coming from someone who has a history of not being very um, committed to one thing at a time. Um, you can't get a good read on them, is what I'm hearing. They are elusive, you know? They keep their desires and passions and wants to themselves. And uh, it would be kind of surprising for you in, in a love dynamic for this person to really make a move. You might just be kind of thinking, are they doing it because of fear for their future? Are they doing it because of some type of negative reason? Or are they doing it because they really truly believe in the commitment and, the, and they're just, you know, working through some blockages and fears right now? Um... It's hard to say, you know, it'll be different for everybody. 
We have the Knight of Wands reversed and we have the Queen of Wands. Both people cards. Um, I'm reading the Queen of Wands as the oak composition being the viewer, uh, or at least Pisces in this dynamic, um, where you'll have confidence in the decisions that you're making uh, in the in, as the outcome, to believe in yourself, to believe in your beauty, to believe in your strength, to know that you can make empowered decisions. Um, and the, you know, the Knight of Wands reverse is kind of like skittish, like, you know, beating around the bush, so to speak. So, you know, you might procrastinate even with those cards there, uh, for some time. Just know that if this comes up suddenly, it's not meant to spook you, even though it might do that a little bit, Pisces. And, uh, there's a lot of respect here. And the outcome is the strength, the, the future is the strength card. So, you know, a positive omen for health, a positive omen for um, expansion and growth and moving forward of potential, you know. Even with the Two of Cups being reversed, even with the Hierophant card being reversed and the Fool card, um, it's almost as if those things were already in stagnant, like the relationship potential, the commitment potential, the unconventional relationship or the tr the lack of trust in an or organization or institute, you know, not wanting to take a risk, not wanting to move forward. All those things may have already been uh, in the state of, of being for you. But then this message right in the middle of all these three cards comes through and it's like there's an opportunity to change those things. Reversals are not set in stone, which is something I would always teach if I'm teaching a tarot lesson. It's important to look at reversals as phases in in the energy uh, most times. Anyway, that's what I've got for your reading today. Thank you, Pisces. I'll see you again soon.